Hi students, welcome to yet another session of reading fiction. I am Darshana. Let us continue the topic. We already discussed about the term fiction, its meaning, characteristics, then different subgenres that is uh, fable, short story, novel, etc. And I think all of you are familiar with this term fiction. Today we are going to discuss about different types of novel. Yes, let us discuss in detail. In the previous class, we already discussed about the term novel, evolution of novel, etc. And today we are going to discuss about different types of novel. Yes, different periods in the history of the novel, so the evolution of different forms of the genre. That means when we go through the history of English literature, we can trace the evolution of different forms of this particular genre. Particular genre in a sense means the different forms of novel when we go through the history of English literature. That is different periods in the history of the novel. So the evolution, that development of this particular literary form that is novel. In the previous class I already mentioned that this particular uh, form that is novel, it is believed that is originated in the 15th century in the form of romances. That is in the form of uh, medieval romance, chivalric romance, that is uh, in the form of ballad, etc. That means the major types of major types of this particular genre, that is novel art, the romance, that is its first form. It is believed that this particular literary genre originated in, in the form of romance in the early 15th century. So, major types include romance, the Picarus novel, autobiographical novel, epistolary novel, historical novel, gothic novel, Bildens romance, satire, utopian novel, dystopian novel, detective novel, science fiction, cyberpunk, chemical fiction and the canvas novel. So, we have to study all these different types of novel in this particular module in the first module. So let us discuss in detail. Today we are going to discuss two major types of novel. One is the Picarus novel and the other one is autobiographical novel. And the romance we will discuss in the later class. Then Picarus novel. What do you mean by Picarus novel? How can we define this term? Or how can we define this particular literary form that is Picarus novel. Picarus novel was an episodic narrative form of the novel popular in Europe during the 17th and 18th centuries. Yes, this particular literary form Picarus novel it was an episodic narrative form that is episodic in nature and popular in Europe during the 17th and 18th centuries. Look at the centuries, that uh, period in the history of English literature. That is important. First, first it is believed that this uh, literary form uh, originated from romances. That is uh, in the 15th century. But this particular literary form, Picarus novel, it is believed that popular in Europe during the 17th and 18th centuries. And the Spanish term Picaro or Picarón, that is the anti-hero of such a novel, is yes. the Spanish term Picaro or Picarón and the anti-hero of uh, Picarus novel is considered as the Picaro or the Picarón. And was translated into English. This Spanish term Picaro was translated into English as the Picaro. Which means a scoundrel of low birth and evil life at war with society. That is the meaning, English meaning. Uh, that is the meaning of that English term Picaro. A scoundrel of low birth and evil life at war with the society. That is the meaning that is we have given to the English term of English term Picaro. So the Spanish term Picaro or Picaro 
that is the anti hero of figaro's novel is considered as the figaro or figaro and this particular term was translated into english as the figaro which means what is the meaning of that term picaro which means a scoundrel of low birth and evil life at war with the society so it is considered as one of the earliest forms of novel and it relates to the adventures this particular literary form relates to the adventures of a rock or a person with a low Uh, status low rank or a scoundrel of low birth etc so this particular literary form was episodic in nature and it uh, relates to the adventures of whom adventures of a person with low birth or low rank such a person is called picaro or picaro that is a scoundrel or a rock or a person with a low status or low birth etc so this particular literary form relates to the adventures of such a person and he drifts from one place to another and from one social milieu or social background to another for his effort to survive that is the this particular literary form means this person the anti hero of picaro's novel that is the picaro or a scoundrel of low birth or a rock etc he wanders or he drifts from one place to another or from one social background to another for his effort to survive that's why it is called episodic in nature that is its narration is in the form of first person narrative most of the bigaras novel most of the bigaras novel is in first person narrative because it is the narration of his experiences adventurous experiences that is he drifts from that is the main character that is the anti hero of such a uh, literary form that is bigaras novel he uh, wanders and he is considered as a wanderer because he wanders from one place to another and from one social background to another for uh, in his effort to survive and it satirizes this particular literary form satirizes the individual and the society it depicts in 16th century all of you clear yes this particular literary form it satirizes the individual and the society it depicts then spain shifted from a feudal to a monarchical society in 16th century making a large section of the society into beggars and vagabonds that means there is a shift in the class structure of the society of the spain that is spain shifted from a feudal system to a monarchical system in 16th century uh, resulting a large section of the society into beggars and vagabonds and the picaros gave a voice to this class this particular literary form picaros means the anti hero of that particular literary form the picaros gave a voice to this class in the society that is these beggars and vagabonds of the society and giving an outsider's perspective on the society and early example is the anonymous that is we don't know the exact author behind this uh, uh literary work an early example is the anonymous lazarillo de toms toms it is one of the uh, earliest examples of this literary form that is picaro's novel and later speci specimens had the picaro as the first person narrator is first the picaro's gave a voice to this class giving an outsider's perspective on the society that is the narration that is in the form of that is giving an outsider's perspective on the society or the class that structure existed in the society 
but later the this uh, particular uh, in the in this particular literary form the narration has the narration the point of narration that has changed that is later specimens had the picaro as this anti hero this particular uh, character is considered as the first person narrator for first person narration uh, the best example is daniel defoe small flanders in english literature that is daniel defoe is a 17th century writer his uh, small flanders is one of the best examples for that first person narration and the small flanders is a picaro novel then the character of the picaro can vary from a rather hapless hapless in the sense means unlucky uh, or unfortunate that is the character of the picaro that uh, character uh, can vary from a rather hapless that is in the uh, vary from that un unfortunate or unlucky situation even though he is a clever person then bumpkin to a trickster bumpkin means unsophisticated or a socially awkward person from a countryside bumpkin to a trickster trickster means a person uh, who is tricky or who has skill to cheat others deceive others etc so the character of the picaro can vary from a rather hapless though clever bumpkin to a trickster who manipulates who cheats or deceives others with the cruelty and finesse finesse in the sense means uh, uh, impressive nature or uh, using his skill etc that is he may be uh, that is the character of the picaro can vary from a rather hapless though clever that is this character may be a clever person but he is Uh, he can vary from then bumpkin that is from unsophisticated or a socially awkward person from a countryside to a trickster that is a person who is tricky or who has a skill in uh, deceiving or uh, cheating others or who manipulates others with cruelty and finesse finesse means using his skill or in an impressive manner so this particular the portrayal of the particular character in this uh, literary form it's his character that can vary from hapless though clever bumpkin to a trickster and who manipulates others with cruelty and finesse then these stories often end abruptly with the picaro leaving for america pursuing a new life or to the galleys yes these stories that is most of the uh, pigaras novels that often end abruptly abruptly in the sense means end in a sudden manner so end abruptly with the picaro leaving for america in the most of the pigaras novels we can see that the stories end in a sudden manner that is end abruptly with the main character that is the picaro that main character leaving for america um, pursuing a new life pursuing a new life in the sense means which leaves a scope for sequels etc pursuing a new life that now he is leading a bad life that is in the form of a picaro or a, like a trickster uh, who cheats or deceives others etc so he pursues a new life so most of the picaro's novel end in a abrupt way with the picaro leaving for america pursuing a new life or to the galleys that means in a broader definition of the term these novels need not have a picaro as their protagonist instead they need only an episodic narrative pattern yes that is in later years this particular literary form got a broader definition what is that uh, meaning these novels that is picaro's novels need not have a picaro that a picaro means a person with a low status or low inferior rank or a scoundrel or a rock so these novels did not have a picaro that is such a character as their protagonist instead they need that is this literary work 
need only an episodic narrative pattern. That is in later years, it that is this particular literary form got a broader definition. That is, there is a change in the representation of this particular literary form. These novels need not have a Picaro as their protagonist. They don't want such a character as their protagonist. Instead, they need only a, only an episodic narrative pattern. That means it. Uh, they want to represent the adventures of a particular character, and the that character need not be a Picaro or a person from an inferior rank or a social status or a rogue or a, a scoundrel, etc. But they want an episodic narrative pattern. That is the development in uh, happened in this particular literary form. So, in this sense, Henry Fielding's Tom Jones and Mark Twain's Adventures of Huckleberry Finn are examples of this particular literary form that are referred to as being wholly or partly Picaras. These two works, that is Henry Fielding's Tom Jones and Mark Twain's Adventures of Huckleberry Finn are referred to as being wholly or partly Picaras. That means the characters in these two works are wanderers and they wander from or they drift from one place to another place and they made some uh, adventures in their life. That's why look at the title of Mark Twain's work, Adventures of Huckleberry Finn. Maybe this Huckleberry Finn is from a, uh, yes, he is a wanderer and his this uh, the, the narration of that particular story relates to the adventures of Huckleberry Finn. And, uh, and these two works are considered as partly Picaras. Not fully considered as a Picaras novel. And Byron's narrative poem Don Juan is a rare case of a Picaras story in verse. That is an example, exceptional case. That is a Picaras novel a Picaro's story in verse form. For example, Byron's narrative poem, Don Juan, it is a poem, it is not, not in a prose form, it is in a verse form. And the Picaro's earn life experience through adventures, that is the point here. The Picaro's or the characters in this particular literary form, the earn life experience through adventures. And the irrepressible independence of the Picaro is juxtaposed with the society's unalterable hostility towards these fringe characters. The irrepressible independence. Irrepressible means repressible means controllable. So irrepressible means uncontrolled. So the uncontrolled independence of the Picaro is just opposed to it. Just opposed in the sense means contrasted with the, the society's unalterable hostility. Unalterable means unchanged. Hostility means indifferent attitude towards or hostile attitude, unfriendliness. Hostile attitude or indifferent attitude towards these French characters. It's the irrepressible, uncontrolled independence of the Picaro. So, I already told you these characters are wanderers. That, mean, that means from one place to, that is, uh, drifts from one place to another or from one social background to another in their effort to survive. And most of these uh, characters are related to some adventures. So, the uncontrolled independence of the Picaro is contrasted with the societies and the society considers these characters as uh, something from inferior rank or a uh, scoundrel, uh, rogue, etc. So, society has a, a hostile or uh, indifferent attitude towards these characters. So, the irrepressible or the uncontrolled independence of the Picaro is just opposed, that is, or contrasted with the society's unalterable, unchanged. Uh, um, hostility towards, that is the indifference or unfriendliness towards these fringe characters. And all Picaroons have tyrannical masters. Most of these characters have tyrannical masters who demand a servile attitude 
um, uh, towards them because society considers these characters in such a way and in later yes Picard's novels in modern literature are Herman Melville's The Confidence Man, Joyce Carey's The Horse Mouth, Errol Felicen's Invisible Man, Saul Bellows' The Adventures of Augie Marsh, etc. So, what do you mean by Picard's novel? It was an episodic narrative form of the novel popular in Europe during the 17th and 18th centuries and it relates with the adventures of a Picaro that is a, a character from a inferior rank or a scoundrel or a rock etc. And he may be a wanderer and he drifts from one place to another or from one social background to another in an effort to uh, survive. That is the uh, definition that we have given to this particular literary form that is Picaro's novel. I think all of you understand this session, the, this uh, in particular literary form that is Picaro's novel. Students, there is a homework for you. Uh, homework is write your note on Picaro's novel. Write your homework and send back to me. Next, we are going to study autobiographical novel. Uh, to be continued in the next session. Thank you. Have a nice day. See you again.